is up everybody it's your girl brianna christine and i'm back at you with another video and today we are going to be doing a ulta haul everybody loves ulta so of course you know you gotta go get your essentials use your gift cards use your all that good stuff so it was time for me to go ahead and use some birthday money some christmas money that i had stocked up and then ulta hooked me up with some credit money so you know I just did a nice little huge little shopping haul I had to get some essentials and I wanted to try some new items so I'm gonna jump right into this please don't forget to like this video if you like this video and if you're nosy you know what I'm saying everybody want to see what everybody got so they can know if they need to get it too also don't forget to comment down below if you did purchase anything that I got and of course don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn your post notifications on that say every time I post a new video you know to come right back here with your girl Brianna Christine but let's get into the video that, that birthday money and that backed up Christmas money came in handy because your girl got to get some stuff you know just to celebrate her because you know it's just about me sometimes I just want to you know get some stuff for some self-care you know we still quarantining so we got to do a lot of at-home spa and hair treatments and all that good stuff so um the hair products that I got most of it is stuff that I already get but I did try a new product I also purchased a new curling wand and a new flat iron I don't have it right here with me I left it in the bathroom I'll put a picture here or here wherever but um pretty much I got I think it's a the bedhead brand I'm not 100% sure but it's like the teal color little skinny um flat iron so I purchased that this when well, my kitchen look a little you know raggedy I could get it real good and from my edges and just you know if I decide to cut my hair really short down the road or somebody that I know got short short hair and they want me to do with their hair you know I could just bump it real good and then I also noticed I have a lot of hair utensils but I don't have a super skinny um, curling iron so I purchased that this way if I want to just have some big bouncy curls or like if I'm doing somebody's hair and they got curly hair but we just you know doing a little something something to it I just needed it in my life so I purchased that as well I also got some hair products one of the hair products that I purchased I love Redken this pretty much is essential to me this is just to maintain my hair so I don't use this product every single time I wash or relax my hair or deep condition my hair or any type of treatment but I do do this when I feel like I need some extra help on my split ends I use this probably about once or twice a month sometimes once every two months it depends I used to use this more when my hair was really really damaged now I just kind of use it to maintain but this product is one of the best products that you will ever freaking buy because it literally does what it says it's extreme anti snap it's great for anti breakage and it's a leave-in treatment so pretty much after you do any washing or co-washing you just put this on your ends and then you just let it dry or blow dry your hair whatever you're gonna do you know we curl our hair we relax our hair we flat iron our hair even if you natural you sometimes you know brush your hair too much or whatever the case may be sometimes your hair just needs a little bit of extra TLC so this product I have been using for years so I always make sure I have some of this in my closet in my bathroom closet this day whenever I need it I can just give my hair some TLC another product that is essential is Kenra if you guys Guys are not on Kenra products um, Kara Kara is also really good but Kenra products there's just two products that I cannot go without I most likely will do a hair essentials video so you know stay tuned for that but yes this is something that I have to have so this is the Kenra platinum blow dry spray mist I have to my mom put me on this and this is like one of the best things that she ever put me on like I said I'm gonna have to do a hair care essential because like literally like it's, I just got my routine down I'm so happy about it but anyways so this product I have the large bottle but I also wanted to get the small bottle just like so I can have some backup because I have to have this this is like crack for my hair I can't flat iron my hair without I mean I can't blow dry my hair excuse me I cannot blow dry my hair without this product wash your hair co-wash it whatever it's gonna be and you're ready to blow dry your hair well, put a I don't use towels I use a t-shirt to dry my hair and once it's not you know wet to the point where water is coming out then I'll spray this in each section and then I'll blow dry my hair it used to take me like 45 minutes to blow dry my hair my hair is super thick whether I just got a fresh relaxer text laxed it no it don't matter what I do my hair is super thick 
So this product, one, it helps me with the blow drying process. For me, it just seems like it really gets my hair straight. And two, it cuts my blow drying time in like half, more than half. It literally takes me like five, 10 minutes to blow dry my hair now. It's amazing and it smells really good. So this product is definitely an essential. I had to buy this, especially because I got it with birthday money. So your girl, it's not cheap either. It's like 20 something dollars. I think this is like six, I don't remember, but like the big bottles, like almost 30, but I have to have it, so. That's something that I purchased. Another um, product that I got, I don't really use this line of this brand. So this time I purchased the Renewing Plus Argan Oil of Morocco Penetrating Oil and the Weightless Healing Dry Oil Spray. These two are amazing. Now the coconut versions, the coconut oil mist and this one, like both of those, the coconut line, those two products I absolutely love, been using for years. I purchased those as well, but these are fairly new to me. I've purchased them and I've used them here and there sparingly, but I just feel like I just wanted to get this again just so I can have a little bit of variety. I know that these are supposed to be really good, so I wanted to try these as well. I wanted to use this for like, you know, my lock method. As you see, I've already started to use it. It's already here, and I've actually used this on my boyfriend's hair as well. So I just wanted something a little bit thicker than the coconut oil, just so when I'm doing the lock method on my hair and on his hair it just really is just keeping that moisture in my hair and I felt like argan oil was a bit thicker than the coconut oil and the coconut oil I use just during different times so I just feel like this I want it to be able to use during my lock moisturizing methods and my pre poo timing whereas with the coconut spray and the coconut oil I use pretty much to maintain and I use it daily so I got these products. I also purchased another OGX product, but this product I have never used. This is the Deeply Restoring, I don't know how to pronounce this. It's Procaxi, I'm not 100% sure, but it is a recovery oil, it's a combing cream. I purchased this for my boyfriend, look at me. It's, it's Christmas birthday money and I'm spending it on my boo. I'm spending it on my boo, but you know, he always spent on me, so it's only right that we make sure both of our hair look on and popping. So this product is a combing cream. It's supposed to be great for detangling your hair. You can use this before shampooing, after conditioning, not shampooing, your hair dry, whatever the case may be, you can use this. It's supposed to help with tangles. Curly hair gets super tangled all of the time. So I just wanted to see if this would work. Um, The smell is not 100% the best smell out of all of the products that I've got from OGX but it's not a horrible smell and as long as it does what it's supposed to do I'll be happy with it so we're gonna try this out and then everything else that I've purchased is in here just so it's a little bit easier for me to grab for you guys to see so we're gonna run through it so I purchased some eyelashes eyelashes I have been obsessed with lately the eyelashes that I'm wearing now are lotus lashes I think they're lotus lashes I'm also gonna do a review on these lashes as well you guys can see. I have been loving these eyelashes, so we're gonna do a thorough review on that. So stay tuned for that as well. Make sure your post notifications are on. Make sure you're subscribed. But the eyelashes that I have purchased, OMG, I have been obsessed with KISS. KISS is like literally amazing. I purchased the Lash Couture Triple Push Up Collection, and I think I purchased two or three of these eyelashes. So this is what the top looks like. And then as you see, these are the eyelashes. They are so fluffy and thick. And I have noticed that I like eyelashes that have a thicker band. It's just easier for me to put on and it doesn't get all flimsy and all that stuff. These are in camisole. Also purchased Teddy because everything is quarantined and they're shipping everything. I don't know what happened, but like the box completely broke and just got all wonky. So I just put them away. As you see, this is the box is all tore up. This is another Lash Couture, but this is the Fifth Avenue collection. And I'm not gonna lie, all of the Kiss lashes I purchased because of Juicy Jazz. She like did like a lash review, I think last year or a couple years ago or something like that. And I've always wanted to purchase them, but I always forget about them. And for whatever reason, I remember it this time. I guess because, you know, I don't know. But I remember it, and girl, she was not lying. These lashes are beautiful. This is what they look like. And this is in Grandeur. It's on my, don't, don't clown me for my nail polish. I know my nail polish look crazy. But um, am I the only person that like uses nail polish and literally in like two days it's gone? Ugh, so annoying. Doesn't matter what type of nail polish 
I put on it just comes off like crazy but these are in Grandeur they're again so fluffy and just beautiful and you can use this for any occasion purchase the last couture luxe extensions collection this is in the style royal silk and this is what they look like these are a little bit more natural looking and they also have the three curve so it's the DCJ curl so it's pretty much like three layers so that's pretty cool I purchased some Ardell lashes I've been falling off of Ardell lately but I keep trying to fall back in love with them so I did purchase some more Ardell lashes especially because everybody loves Ardell these are the mega volume Ardell lashes and this is in 259 I believe and these are the never flat multi-layered taper tips curl technology which is why I purchased these because they are like the kiss lashes where they have the different layers of curl so I purchased these as well and then I purchased again another triple push-up collection lash line these are also beautiful they're a little bit more natural than the other ones but still you know <laughs> va va boom these are in the style brassier I don't know how to say that completely butchering that but pretty much these are on and popping so I purchased these as well also purchased another Ardell and this is the naked lashes this is supposed to blend seamlessly it's supposed to have an Invisiband this I feel like it looks perfect if I really want to go for a super natural super no makeup type of look if I just want to do lashes for whatever reason that comes up and I just want to wear lashes so this is what the packaging looks like and this is what the style looks like a subtle volume and length and these are supposed to be lightweight so these are pretty cool this might be good for people that like go swimming and be on and popping in the pool but want a little something something that might be dope I don't know if I'm that girl because like I'd be sweating and hot and all that stuff that might not be me but you know we'll see maybe I'll I'll do it one day I'll purchase some you know skincare stuff so I purchased the Skin Ice Blend Solutions for Stress Skin Eye Patches. So this is what the packaging looks like. And it comes with eight pairs of eye gels. I freaking love this. I really never bought anything for under my eyes, so I just felt like since I'm, you know, going with this whole, you know, self-care spa stuff at home, I figured this would be perfect for when I just feel like I need a little bit of oomph under my eyes. So rude. I also purchased some Jergens. OMG, Jergens literally is like, I have been obsessed with Jergens ever since I was little. My parents used to get the, oh my God, what is it, like almond or something like that soap? Yo, that soap smells so good. And the lotion smells so good. So when I saw this and it looked all new and everything like that, I was like, oh my God, like this reminds me of my childhood. So this is Jergens. This is a new line that they came out with and it's supposed to be Rose Body Butter. It smells so good. It's super moisturizing. I've already used a little bit of it, so that's how I know. And it's supposed to be delight and soften. And it has a rose essence and camellia essential oil. Purchase this. Got a few mascaras as well. So I purchased the Maybelline Falsies. Everyone has seen this, but I've never actually used the Push Up Drama. This is the washable one, and this is in the color Black is Black. So I just wanted to see, you know, what the hype is about. This is supposed to be like one of those classic eyeliner classic mascara so I just wanted to try that. I feel like with mascaras I personally like to layer my mascaras. I got that tip from Nicole Guerrero you know what I'm saying. So um, I've been doing that ever since your girl put us on like 10 years ago. She been on here being the GOAT for a long time okay. So I've been doing that for a long time and I like just you know doing like highline mascaras with a little bit of you know drugstore mascaras it don't matter what if a mascara is good it's good like this one this one is on and popping as well this is the l'oreal telescope this is an og mascara i love this mascara and i purchased this in black and it's just supposed to make your lashes look on and popping and long okay like if you don't know, now you know. You need to get that, that mascara right there. The tight line this mascara is supposed to be great for if you want to get under your lashes and also just to really just lengthen and give that volume in your lashes. It's super, super thin, so that means that you can get every single lash and make sure that they are lifted and just want to pop in. So this is more expensive than the drugstore mascaras but this is definitely worth purchasing i definitely have used this before and i absolutely love it 
And then I also decided to try this It Cosmetics Brow Power. This is in the color Universal Taupe. Now, I don't know if this is gonna work out for me or not, but you know, the times that I have my hair that bright red that, you know, is on a pop in, I figured maybe this will work. If it doesn't work, you know, I can use it for somebody else possibly. But I just wanted to try it. So it's supposed to be a Universal Brow Pencil. So we're gonna see how on a pop in this is. Okay, and for those that don't know, I have dry skin. In the winter, it is terrible. In the summer, it's like dry, oily, it's super weird. But um, nevertheless, I do have dry skin. So what I like to do is try my best to try to get primers. And I had saw this NYX primer. It was like $14, $15. I was like, ooch. But you know, I was like, let me just go ahead and try because sometimes you gotta spend some money in order to make sure that you want to pop it. Decided to purchase the NYX Honey Do Me Up. This is supposed to be a primer that is honey based. Most of the time I do like to look a little bit dewy because I do typically have dry skin. So pretty much all I'm trying to do is just make sure that I just cleanse my face every day and just make sure that I'm just looking nice and moisturized. And even in the summer, even though I sweat, I'm hot, you know, my skin be acting bugging out. So I just wanted to make sure that I tried this. I might not use this really for the summer. This might just be something that I use when it's cooler, but either way, I just wanted to try it out. Also purchased this high impact Morphe Get Me Lift. Um, give me get lift. No, get lit. Why am I saying get lift? Get lit highlighter. And this is in the color Mirage. And it does come with a mirror. It is absolutely beautiful. The camera is not doing it justice, but this is on and popping. Like you can definitely probably use this sparingly. Some of the products at Morphe are definitely super, super lit, and this is definitely a get lit type of highlighter. So I had to restock on this. And then, of course, I had to get on the Juvia's Place bandwagon. I have heard so much about this, the Saharan Blush Volume 1 and 2 palettes. I was like, you know what? I got some coin. Let me go ahead and spend that money. So I purchased this. Oh my God, I was so excited when I got this in the mail. And I noticed that there was no mirror, which is perfectly fine. You don't have to have a mirror on everything. And this is what the colors are looking like. Look at those blush colors, oh my God. It's not even, the camera's not doing it justice. The part that I love too, with the blush is that I feel like with these colors, I can also use them as eyeshadow. I know, I don't know if that's like, you're not supposed to do, but I'ma do it as my makeup. And these colors, this is the eyeshadow palette right here. This is a whole palette. So, love this purchase. I feel like this is definitely something that was worth me purchasing and trying out. So I'm excited to try that out. Let me know if you guys like this blush palette. Is it really like, you know, sometimes when you read the reviews on Ulta, it really ain't on and popping. Like, you get it and you're like, this is not what I thought it was gonna be. I also purchased this beauty blender holder. This will be perfect for when we're finally back to traveling or whatever the case may be, or if I'm going to sleep over, you know, my relative's house or something like that, and I just need to have this on a pop for my beauty blender, or to be honest with myself, let me just be honest with myself, so I don't lose my beauty blender, because you know, there's no case that comes with the beauty blender or the makeup sponge, and I feel like this would be perfect for once it dries, and it's just easy to just find because it's big and bulky, and yeah. I also purchased this CoverGirl. This is a new foundation. This is a clean, fresh skin milk. I got this in the color 640 Dark, and it's supposed to have a dewy finish. It has coconut milk and aloe extract. It's supposed to be like a BB CC cream foundation type of deal, but then also like healthy for your skin and like rejuvenate in it and on that on and pop and stuff for the warm climate. So I definitely was excited to dry this and I was definitely excited too that it also included us brown skin ladies and gentlemen. So I'm excited to try this out. Of course your girl had to stock up on some LA Girl Pro Concealer so I got my usual dark bronze and all that stuff but then I also purchased Beautiful Bronze to try out which is new and then I also got the orange corrector because I always see people using the orange corrector for like dark spots so I just wanted to see what that was like. I also purchased the NYX liquid suede. So the NYX liquid suede and club hopper. I purchased the pencil and I also purchased the lipstick. This way you know it can have like my own little lip kit so I love that it's a nice dark deep color which is exactly why I picked up the club hopper both of these. I purchased this NYX white eyeliner. Let's say if I just wanted to do some different looks, I'm trying to be a little pizzazzy sometimes, so I can just have some 
little excitement in my collection. I also picked up this NARS eyeliner in the color black. NARS is supposed to be one of those classic makeup brands, so I just couldn't pass up the chance to just get some eyeliner since it finally was back in stock. I also restocked on some Fit Me foundation powder. This is my color. This is what I use as my setting powder, and this is in the color, like I said, 360 Mocha. And that is everything that I purchased at Ulta this time. I was super excited this time because it was definitely some things that I had in my favorite section that I just didn't get to, you know, purchase. And then also just some essentials that I just needed to restock up on. I like to make sure that the things that I use often or all the time, I have some backup just in case, you know, forget about it. And I'm like, oh my gosh, no, I gotta do my hair or whatever. I just like to make sure I'm good. And then also I got to try some new things. So I'll probably definitely be doing some reviews on some items just so you guys could see my personal opinion on it and see if you wanna purchase it or if you just need to pass on it. You know what I'm saying? But don't forget to hit that like button. Make sure you share this to all your friends, all your family, all your loved ones, all that good stuff. Comment down below. Let me know if there was anything that you purchased that you also love or that you don't like. And of course, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and put your post notifications on. That's like every time your girl Brianna Christine posts a new video, you know to come right back here and show what your girl. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.